Yesterday I woke up with an awful sinus infection. Marginally better now, but as you can tell, I feel very clogged up, and I'm pretty sure that's from the uh, the cat <laughs> from the breathing coach. So it it kind of ties in because I remember when I got my second operation on my nose, that was because my um, terminus flamed up. Uh, pretty soon after we got our cat, so I thought there was a, a possibility that was causing the, the flare-up, I guess. Um, so that would make sense. But the thing is, at the time, I remember I got um, all the tests done for allergies, and they said that, you know, cats weren't on their cat fur, etc. Um, they said possibly, like, dust from the cat coming outside, but, yeah, um, I'm not sure I believe that because, yeah, it can't, I really don't think it's a coincidence that just after we got a cat, my nose, my side, my turbinates and flame. And then also when I and visit a house with a cat who comes over and crawls next to me, uh, lies next to me, I mean, and then I get inflammation the next day. Uh, I think that must be it. So try and avoid cats around. I think with our one, I've just got used to it. But I know that my younger brother often sleeps next to our cat, uh, or at least in the same room. And he's got pretty bad um, information in his nose, so it's probably just a family thing, I guess. And um, but something I was really focusing on yesterday was lots of humming, and this is something that the speech pathologist was talking to me about. She said you want to do like hums every day, like 60 hums or whatever. Um, but I think the way I've been doing humming has been incorrect because I've been using way too much force, like. Like that, which is using way too much tension. And I was doing that for ages yesterday, and then I woke up today with, you know, it's almost like the pharyngitis has come back. It's, it's really painful in there. So the way I was learning to do humming yesterday, probably, and it seems funny that you have to learn how to hum, but um, with me, I guess I do. So, um, and uh, it's basically. If you go mum, 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 and then hold on the M at the end, then you're getting rid of a lot of that tension. So you got this. Mum, 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 mum. And then I can really relax into that sound. Whereas if I go, mm, like there's more force behind it, so I know I'll get a longer M, a longer hum, like a much longer hum, but it's incorrect. So I guess I'm trying to work on that. And also I'm seeing the uh, opera vocal coach on, on uh, what was it, I think Friday afternoon, uh, Friday well, after work, so like 6.30 or something, which should be really interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think that uh, she'll potentially be able to really, really almost fix me, so uh, I'm looking forward to that, but yeah. Hopefully I can uh, sing even a little bit, because otherwise it's going to be pretty embarrassing. Yeah, anyway, see you all later.